It's been a busy time for the new chief of Lexington's fire department. The first woman to ever fill the role is putting in some long days right now, adjusting to this new position. It's historic for the city. But as our Miranda Combs found out in this WKYT exclusive, the new chief's been a helper all her life. So this role makes sense. Our heartfelt congratulations are offered to our new chief. Kristen there is the obvious, she's a woman. In fact, she's the first woman ever to be named Fire Chief of Lexington. But if you ask her, being here was never part of her plan. I was the only child, so all my little siblings were always pets. Come on in. Being here was her passion. Hey, kitty kitties. And I mean, I dressed them. My very first cat was a solid black, long hair. And she got dressed in doll clothes and got put in doll st strollers and all kinds of stuff. Right now, she's working 14 hour days as chief. So, <laughs> I love you. I'm so proud of you. But the reason <laughs> she's in the business of saving lives is because she spent her life saving these. So, what do you want? Get me point two five of the splash block. We've been through some squirrely situations before, and she's always kept her head. Kristen Chilton is a certified vet tech. In fact, Sometimes I feel guilty that I haven't paid her. Dr. Liz <laughs> and Chilton have known each other for 15 years, taking care of animals all over central Kentucky. <laughs> they giggle a lot, but that's what happens when you've been through a lot. Sometimes we have good moments together, sometimes we have <laughs> sad moments together, and sometimes we have fun together, but we still all work together to get what we need to do to get, get the job done. Because she's watched her take her passion for helping animals and apply it to helping people. Thank you. Chilton says when she realized the schooling that would go into being a vet, I'm right here. She decided this class was a better fit. And this is my class. Ten. Ten left from your class. Ten out of twenty-six left. Yep. She says being chief wasn't something she aspired to. It's the trucks and front lines and the brotherhood she loves. But I saw a really cool t shirt not too long ago, and um, it said, it highlighted the word brotherhood, and in the middle of the word brotherhood is her. And it was her, and it said that within brotherhood, there is her. And for her, past 23 years with this team, she's experienced the good and the pain that comes with service. But it also shows you that even with tragedy, you know, there's recovery. It's been some time now since she's fought from the front lines, climbing a different ladder that keeps her behind a desk. You have to do the work to support the people on the line that are still doing those jobs because this is, you have to do this to allow them to do what they do. But you don't feel like you're really making a difference in being a member of the fire department anymore. And that's a really hard transition. You know, it's necessary. But it's really hard. And she doesn't have as much time to spend back here, where she says her job parallels her hobby. She's the one who taught me buggy means ambulance. I didn't know that. <laughs> Inside this room, this badge doesn't make sense. But once you know the story behind it, you realize that the person wearing it is helping, which is exactly what she's meant to do. And then he will wake up here shortly. Of the fire department's 526 sworn non civilian personnel, 14 are women. Chilton talked about Brenda Cowan, who died in the line of duty in 2004. She said she was on her shift that night. In fact, the two of them had just returned from a woman's conference just before she was killed. Tragic day. Mm -hmm. Going back to the animals, <laughs> you can tell how comfortable she is. She has this huge smile on her face. She's laughing, having a good time. But I understand. She really takes it up a notch. With Amber animals. and I were talking earlier about the fact that she keeps a crate in the back of her truck just in case she sees a stray animal along the street. I was told she has 10 dogs and 14 cats at her house. She has a big farm, so plenty of room for them. <laughs> she needs <laughs> but a it. lot of animals. She's got a lot of compassion, Miranda. She does. Thank mm -hmm. you.